right, we're going to talk about nutrition for the skin. Your skin is a window into your health. So the types of foods you eat can impact its color, texture, and luminance. So joining us this morning, we have Dr. Megan McCusker, a dermatologist right. at the Yukon Health Center. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, Yvonne. So let's start off by talking about the foods we don't want to right, be that eating. You don't want to eat. The, so, the yes. foods that are, you said, they're moving... Uh, aging foods. Remove the aging foods. So that's one of the first steps to jumpstarting a good program for your skin. So mm -hmm. you want to get rid of the ages, the advanced glycated end products, which basically is a complicated way of saying sugar coating your protein. So you want to get rid of the simple sugars, you want to get rid of the high glycemic foods, almost anything white you want to get rid of in your diet. Okay. And what that does is it causes breakdown of the collagen and elastin that's in our skin that forms the, the structure um, of a youthful face. Okay. Yeah. Um, so what should we be gearing towards. Yeah, so one of the first things you want to do after you get rid of the aging foods is you want to help support your intestinal immune system. For every one cell that we have in our body, we actually have 10 bacteria that live in our guts. Mm -hmm. So the health of that bacteria is very important to maintaining uh, low inflammation in the skin. They've actually been found to reduce forms of irritable um, inflammatory bowel disease, mm -hmm. as well as certain forms of, of intestinal cancers. And it's important for patients with inflammatory skin diseases as well as autoimmune skin diseases. Mm -hmm. So supporting the intestinal immune system and the ways that we can do that is by eating things that are rich in um, in flaxseed. Okay, no yeah. CS flaxseed. We what, do. What kind of, is this? This is oh, kefir. Oh, I've so, yeah, this, this you have. It's okay. good stuff. It is good stuff. Explain what it what Okay, it is. so what kefir is, is it basically is a probiotic milk. So mm -hmm. you want to support the lactobacilli and the bifidobacterium that mm -hmm. are in our intestines. And the best way to do that is by eating things that are rich in fibers as well as essential fats. And okay. a great source, because these are this is basically what's living in our intestines that we want to keep there. Mm -hmm. And the flaxseed that we eat is a way to support that. Okay. So the flaxseed, not just the flaxseed itself, but actually flax meal. Okay. And these are actually supplemental probiotics that you can actually take as well to help patients with eczema. What do you have here? So this, um, so after we kind of get rid of the aging foods and we support our immune system, mm -hmm. what we want to do is we want to add the good fats back into our back into our diet. Okay. So fats are important. The essential fats that we find in wild Alaskan salmon mm -hmm. and almonds and walnuts, and we can actually take supplementally. These are things that help heal our skin barrier. They reduce redness. They provide a luminescence to our skin, similar to looking at an oil painting. Mm -hmm. And they actually provide an um, even a sun protective factor, not very high, but we but they do provide one. Well, let's talk about these peppers. I was eating yeah. them the other day, and the next day my skin felt really good. I was eating a lot of them one day. Right. But you were saying that with good reason. Yeah, with good reason. So um, so rainbow foods, you really want to eat a lot of foods that have a lot of color. Mm -hmm. um, and we never can get enough vegetables in our diet. Um, so you really want to get the reds, the oranges, the yellows. You want to get everything. Mm -hmm. And the seed coats of, of, um, of red grapes as well as red wines and red cabbage are important. Mm -hmm. um, the peppers are important because they, they actually have something called capsaicin. And you don't even need to eat the hot varieties to get the benefits of, cap of capsaicin. It reduces the inflammation in our intestines. Okay. Um, and also is an, is an energizer as well for the skin. It's a fat burner. It helps with itch. Mm -hmm. So for all those reasons, oh. those are helpful for the skin. What about these greens here? Yeah, so the greens. So greens deserve a lot of mention. Kale isn't just the garnish on your plate. Yeah. So kale is one of the best ways for us to get vitamin A into our diet. It's not just carrots. Carrots are actually a high glycemic food. So kale is a great substitute. Um, kale and broccoli. Broccoli has something called sulforaphane in it, which mm -hmm. researchers at Johns Hopkins have found is has a very potent, uh, the very potent sulforaphane helps with anti-cancer and it helps eliminate toxins from our body. Okay, and I couldn't help but mention the chocolate. <laughs> My goodness. I know. Goodness. Hey, I know. If so you say it, if you say so, I will eat it. Right. What so, is it about? So, so chocolate actually has five times the antioxidants of green tea, mm -hmm. uh, so which many people don't know. But what you need to look for is the high cocoa varieties, uh, yeah. 70 or 85 percent cocoa okay, so to that's get what those the benefits. You're looking for. That's right. And you don't have to eat the entire bar, but just a little bit. Just a little. Just <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, yeah, Megan. I no appreciate problem. you coming in. Yeah, Thank you. my pleasure. Well, the digital divide 